In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change your default Google Drive account or what is also known as changing your primary Google account. This can be really handy if you manage multiple Google accounts and want a particular one to be the default across your devices. Let's dive right in and walk through this simple process step by step. First, we'll start by navigating to Google Drive. You can do this by opening your web browser and typing in drive.google.com. Once you're there, you'll be on your Google Drive homepage, seeing all your files and folders neatly organized. Next, take a look at the upper right corner of your screen. You'll see a circular profile icon. Go ahead and click on it. This icon represents your current logged in Google profile and clicking it will reveal a drop down menu with more options. From this menu, locate the option that says sign out of all accounts. Click on it. Doing this will log you out from all the Google accounts you are currently signed into. This step is crucial because to set a new default account, you need to log into all accounts again, starting with the one you want to set as the default. After signing out, you'll be redirected to a Google login page, prompting you to choose which account to use. Here's where the magic happens. Select the account you want to set as your primary or default account. The first one you sign into will automatically become the default account. It's important to note that the order of login determines the primary account, so choose wisely. Having selected your account, the next step is straightforward. You'll need to enter your password. This part ensures that your account is secure and you're the legitimate user trying to access the services. Once you're logged in, we're going to repeat an earlier step. Yes, go back to the profile icon and give it another click. Why? Because this time, we're going to sign back into your other accounts. Now that your preferred primary account is set and signed in, go ahead and sign into any other Google accounts you use. This can be simply done from the same profile menu where you'll find an option to add account. By doing so, you ensure seamless switching between accounts without altering the primary one you've designated just now. And there you have it. You've successfully changed your default Google Drive account. Remember, the first account you sign into becomes the default across your Google services, so keep this order in mind next time you need to make adjustments. Feel free to revisit any of these steps if you're unsure, or if something didn't quite work out as expected. Thank you for tuning in today, and I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out or check other videos for additional tips and tricks on managing your Google accounts effectively.